welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. We're here at St. Mary's Stadium quite early. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. It's an 8 p.m. kickoff, but I guess that is British summertime. We're here for another contest, this time between Southampton and Preston North End as the Saints players come out to warm up. Jack, how are you feeling after Saturday? Have you calmed down a little bit? No, I've been literally living on the buzz. I'm not even over watching all the highlights and replays back and I still feel like, you know, you have that kind of like cycle of the Twitterverse before the next the next game sort of thing. I'm still living it from Saturday. So yeah, getting here already kind of, it feels a mix of like a real buzz for tonight, but a bit of an anxious caution of like, right, maybe we might, we might all be a bit too excited. Let's calm down a little bit and be, be professionals. Yeah. But what a way to win a game. I mean, uh, since that game's been played, Sakumara has been charged with violent conduct and um, I'm still not convinced it was a handball. That's all I'm saying on that. Uh, he didn't move his hand, so uh, I think it's, it's a good one. <laughs> I got Stephen in front of me, Steven. starting to chant. The Saints! The Saints! <laughs> the Saints. The Saints. <laughs> A few moments later. So we are facing Preston North End tonight, who have a narrow possibility of the playoffs, but a lot would have to go their way to make that happen. And the team sheets are in. We've got a pretty similar lineup to what it was uh, on Saturday with the omission of Jack Stevens. Um, we've also got Stuart Armstrong uh, in the starting lineup. So, I mean, you can't really argue with that lineup at all. There are some people that would probably say that might be our strongest lineup, you know, the fact that Stu, I think, Ariba has been amazing in the past few weeks I don't I don't think any of the wingers kind of cut themselves in glory in the last game I don't think Brooks was amazing I don't think Stu was great when he came on I don't think Adama had a great game I don't think Fraser had a great game when he came on last week so yeah tonight I kind of want to see those wingers really kind of stay in place for the last few games but I think it's a really strong team yeah it's a strong team indeed so moving on to the score prediction part of the show uh, how many times do you want to hear Zombie Nation tonight Jack? I'd like to hear it three times and uh, nothing in the other way. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ooh, bold. That sounds very epic. I'm going to go for a slightly more conservative 2-1 uh, Southampton. Um, so I'm, I'm just a little bit nervy of a, a team that has nothing to play for uh, and what threat that might pose. Right. Kickoff coming up.
doing that? Half time here at the St Mary's Stadium, it's currently Southampton 3, Preston North End 0, an incredibly dominant first half. Despite the fact that we had a, a change quickly for the game, uh, Gavin Bazunu coming off in the warm up with a Achilles injury that's been since spotted on the bench uh, on crutches, so that doesn't look good at all. But back to the positives yeah. a rather dominant display. Um, Shea getting the first two. His second was perhaps one of the most beautiful moments I've ever seen at the stadium, wasn't it? Then the 28th minute, applause for Joe, sadly a fan who passed away. Um, it's just amazing, wasn't it? Beautiful moment. It's one of the, a bit like the Tottenham away. It's one of those beautiful moments in football where you just, just, just people from other worlds have just planned that out for us. That's a, that was a movie script. And I hope the families, you know, were here tonight and they got to see that because it was, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. But, but what an amazing first half in general! I can't believe we're here three 0 The only reason I'm confident is because it's three. I know what we can do at two 0 at halftime. We can always set that up at three. That's all right. Well, this is it. It's always a worry, you know. Two 0 Saints lead doesn't necessarily mean an awful lot uh, in recent times but you've got to say I mean I think we as good as we've been Preston haven't really shown a lot have they yeah no, we were saying in that half like everything's falling for us every second ball's falling for us and how much is that be us getting lucky or is it Preston just having everything against them I mean even just simple passes out they've sort of been knocking out of the touch so you made a good point though in the sense of that changing goal is that making it is that forcing us to go more direct you know less balls back to McCarthy it's like the most scariest gamble in the world like yeah, we've got now got a goalkeeper who we know cannot pass the ball around the back. Everyone knows that. And all he's going to do is, if you pass the ball, he's going to get straight out of the box as quick as he can. He's not going to wait for you. You're going to have to get out then. If you're not there, he's going to rewind it. And I think that's really making us go forward. It's making us, you know, a bit more direct. And we've got some real, some real passion about it. And I think that that first 35 minutes was, just, was the, the last five minutes against, you know, against Watford. It was just that intensity. It's just intense. It really, really feels it. And even at three, they want the next one. It's not right three. Let's sit back now. It's three. Let's go for four. Exactly. They are certainly wanting to keep the ball in play and uh, get as many. So the, uh, the the relay have just hit the post and they've both missed. This is way more interesting than this. I'm turning it around. A draw? What? Outrageous. Um, where was I? Yes, certainly want to keep the ball in play and uh, look for the next goal. I mean, certainly goal difference will likely come into it towards the end of the season, but it's all going to plan so far. And uh, fair play to Alex McCarthy. He's having a good game and he's having a go. Right, second half coming up.
All right, we are into three minutes of stoppage time here at Samaria Stadium. It's still Southampton three, Preston North end nil. Um, it's increasingly been it's it's been dominant again. We we haven't created quite as much. I feel a bit for Shea Adams who's just been awarded man of the match in not getting uh, a third himself. But this is the most comfortable minute Samaria's in a while, a long, long time. We've been really flat second half. I don't think the substitutions have helped us much, but I think these are just players that are going to get minutes in a game that's kind of dead, dead, dead and done already. You're right, rotation straight. needed, though, for the mad games. A bit of rotation, exactly. I'm, I think we're a, bit, I'm a bit surprised by how little rotation there was tonight at the start of the game. So, yeah, it's been, listen, it's been a really dominating second half. I think it's about 76, 78% of the session that we're on right now. I can't imagine how many passes we've made. Like, that's going to be an off the scale number. This is pure Russell Martin football, but if they can't get on the ball, they can't score. If they can't score, we can't lose. So, it's dominating, mate. It's just, uh, as, as a footballing fan, I would have loved to have seen another goal this second half. Just something to get me off the feet a bit. But it's been it's just been dominant. I'll g- give it to the Preston away fans. Yeah, I was going to say, fair play to the Preston North fans, fans who have travelled down here for a second time. Um, unfortunately, your team haven't showed up here tonight. Um, I can't help but feel that um, you're a better side than what we've seen here tonight. Uh, but we're grateful for the points. We Thank you. But of course, this means we go on to Cardiff away at the weekend. Which again is another game we've got to be getting three points from to get any chance of that automatic slot. But after Saturday, we will know a heck of a lot more in terms of the sort of amount of promotion push. And there it is, descended. Southampton 3, Preston North End 0. I'll talk to you in a moment. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.